Hello everybody, this is Havoc, and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4, playing as Venice. In the last episode, the Ottoman Empire got tore apart. The Byzantines are now reinstated, which is good, because that will give us another re realm to conquer, hopefully. Um, we, let's see, what's going on here? I'm trying to think... I also want to preface it with this. Now, I only uploaded this episode yesterday because it was supposed to go up Thursday. So instead, it went out Friday, and I was like, I'm going to go ahead and upload it on Saturday because that's technically how the schedule should be. So you get two back-to-back -back episodes of Europe Universalis 4. What I want to say, and I've said this from the very beginning, if you haven't watched the very beginning of the series, I am a 100. I might be like 99.99999% noob now i may have gotten like one trillionth of a percent in terms of my gameplay as such there's going to be a lot of things that i don't know about that i simply just do not know about or don't think of in the moment so when for instance some dude <laughs> i've been playing back and forth with him so i hope he knows i'm being lighthearted about it um, but, like, terrain, I don't think about terrain, because it's just not something I think about when I go into battles and stuff. Should I? Absolutely. Does it make a difference? Absolutely. But I just don't think about it. I just really, really don't. So, things like that are things I'm going to miss, and so you're just going to have to let me know. Does that make sense? Because I don't know otherwise. I just really don't. So instead of saying, dear God, you suck, or things like that, just say, hey, you know what? Mountains, pay attention to them, or things like that, and I won't be an ass about it. You know what I mean? We have too many diplomatic relations. Screw that. Uh, so yeah, so we dealt with a lot of rebellions in the last episode. Our manpower is suffering pretty much, uh, but we are gaining at 282 each month, so that's really cool. I like that. It will actually help us to maybe one day be comparable to the Ottomans in power. Um, I do need to bump my fleet size up. I do recognize that for sure. Uh, it's just I, I need to be careful about it, and apparently... Autonomy, this is what we need to look about. Increasing autonomy decreases local unrest. So for instance, in Albania, we have a 90% chance of a rebel faction. I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna bump it up to 65% autonomy, which hurts. But I think it should reduce. <gasps> Hungary no longer considers Venice arrival. That's the best news I've ever heard. So that should, in theory, limit it. Now, there is a 10% chance each month that it will increase, but it may not. And then in Epirote, Milan has announced Venice as their new rival. That's fine. I don't give a crap about um, those guys. But anyways, Epirus, we're going to bump up their autonomy, which is going to decrease the local unrest, right? It should, in theory. We have lost the trade dispute, Costas Belly. That's fine. They have no unrest now. Will instead decay each month. Now, these guys, it's going down a little bit. 7.3 years. I mean, yeah. I mean, look at that. So, that's cool. I didn't see. I didn't know that. I don't know these things. Because I've only been playing this game for like a month, two months, maybe. A truce with Serbia has ended. So, there's going to be a lot of things that I just don't know. I don't know them, so you're going to have to help me. Excellent news, Cav cost minus 10%. That's fine. Um, Ferrara, or who used to own this? I guess you just can't... Oh, look at this. Florence, or Naples, is attacking. Oh, this is interesting. France is coming in. They're at war with Brittany. And the French subjugation of Brittany... Oh, that's France. Okay. What about the Papal States? They're at war with France and Province. I think the Papal States are about to get take, taken over. Well, they haven't called me in, so I'm not going to do anything for it. Um, but yeah, so again, just let me know, guys. That's all I ask. I am going to take criticism how it is 
sent to me. If you're going to be an ass about it, I'm going to take it poorly. If you just give me some helpful advice without being an ass, then I will take it well. I mean, that's just like anyone. I mean, that's just how it goes. Uh, so currently, we're not at war with anyone. And again, look at this. Why can I not offer them an alliance? Trust. Okay, well, I said for forever that I'm not going to do anything to you. Let's improve our relations just a little bit. We're at plus 159. This is huge, guys. If Hungary um, doesn't do anything to me, if we can know that we're safe there, we can really do a lot of good things. I'm just always scared. We discovered an agent from the Ottomans. Now, we are wanting to go and take out these guys because they have Ragusa. And if I take Ragusa, I do believe that I will be able to... 20 years. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Harsh treatment. We could spend 50 and reduce that, and that would really get it out of the way. There is a 0.4 chance of increasing progress by 10%. I'm going to do that. I'm going to handle them. I'm going to do some harsh treatment. 83 years. There's no unrest. We are good. We are very good. There's provincial unrest, but it's nothing that we can't handle. Awesome. I love it. Fantastic. I am completely okay with that. Uh, we need to give this guy a general. We're going to go ahead and get another set. Byzantium. That's fine. I'm going to go ahead and go to war with Hungary. Because they're allied with Poland. Oh, of course. Or Bosnia. That's what I meant. Bosnia is allied with Poland. So if I were to go to war with them, they would bring in Poland. Dang it. Am I an ally with Poland? I'm not. Now, I don't think I'm going to annex um, Serbia. I, Wallachia is someone I could go to war with. I don't need to immediately go to war. That's the other thing. I really need to build up. Epirus is now considered a piece of our... Oh, look at that. That's awesome. So now what we need to work on is building up our fleet, which we can currently build two more. And I do need to probably build some galleys. I don't know really what else to build. I could build some, some barks, which would help us secure some trade, which would be really good. Let's go ahead and do that then. Also, if you guys know how to increase my naval force limit, let me know. And I guess the same goes for manpower because, again, that's just one of those things that I just don't know. I jumped into this series completely blind because I thought it'd be fun. And it is fun. I'm really enjoying it. Remember, you just can't be a dick about it. Um, five out of four. We need to get our diplomatic relations up. Hey, there we go. Reputation. Look at that. 0.92. I love it. Election time. If we keep him... We lose 10? Uh, no. We could go bureaucratic. Diplomatic. Let's go bureaucratic. Some of our provinces need cord. It's going to cost a lot. Um, I think we'll wait just a little bit. Overextension, 4%. What do I need to do here? What do I have tech-wise? 580, I'm nowhere even close to that. Artillery comes up next. <gasps> it does, that's awesome. What do we need here? Regiment cost, I'm not super caring about that. Yeah, let's go ahead and core those. Um, we'll go Athens and then uh, Moria first. And here, just a little bit, we'll bump it up to the rest of them. We have claims on provinces we don't own. Um, how do I... Is there a way that I can just, like, throw out those things? Because I really don't want to piss these guys off. Fine, we'll recall the diplomat. We've lost our claim on Hume, which is fine. It looks like Poland is a 
enemy of a lot of people. Did we build those yet? We haven't. So we're going to kind of just work on things. Uh, Poland, I don't think, could really get into the battle. They would have to come through us. They're through Hungary, and I don't think they would be able to. Uh, let's look at their army size. They have 21,000 men. I have 21,000 men. There are 9,000 people right there. And I am not at my max. Oh, cool. I gained another one. Maybe because it depends on how many things you have. I don't know. Um, but let's go back. We can recruit up to 27. Is that what is my goal here? Manpower level at 90%. At least 90%. Valona is now considered part of our patrimony. Awesome. We could do this. I'm not going to do that. Adopt oligarchic administration. Interesting. Truce with the Lockheed has expired. Libic has evaded the Renaissance. We can no longer transfer trade. Whoa, they will no longer transfer trade conflict. Costas belly against Wallachia. Aragon of the Bronze Cannons. What is this? The Bronze Cannons made his entrance and is here to stay. The materials needed to feed the growing cannon making industry have led to an explosion in demand for copper over the last few years, and prices have risen as a result. Awesome. Okay, so we do need to bump up these guys. Uh, Epirus, are they building? They are building. Building boats, 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 boats. That's fine. So we're just, we're just gonna chill. We're gonna make that a core. We need diplomats in different places. Uh, where do I want to do? Um, who are the relationships that I have already? Uh, let's go ahead and improve relations with these guys. The Mamluks, who else? Austria, do they need anything? They don't. Saint performs miracle. We have truly been blessed. I will take stability any day. Any and every day. Um, we can improve relations. Already did that. Nothing else. We could ask for military alliance. Oh, that's awesome. Or er, military access. We have too many. Serbia, Hungary. Bosnia. I just really think we could do something against them. I don't want to annex just yet. Macedon. Macedonia is already getting wrecked. See, that's another thing. Like, should I go after Macedonia? My truce against them is gone. No one would come to help, but I don't really need their help. Bring troops down here. They're Serbians. How much cab do I have? I don't have any cab. Hold on. I know I'm running a little low on funds here, and I do have a loan. Oh, no, I don't. I thought I did. Uh, let's go ahead and get our ships in this region. They're just dealing with rebels. There's Byzantium. They got wrecked. I know I shouldn't, but I'm going to go ahead and declare war. I want to take Thessaly. I would rather... Actually, I want to take Macedonia. That's a really good one. And we can just come in there. Come in here. Our manpower reserves need to recover. That's fine. Accumulate money. Vassalize Ferrara, conquer Cyprus. We'll accumulate money. Uh, we need to raise war taxes. Always forget about that. Looks like we have, what, Greek Orthodox rebels? Orthodox zealots. Yes. 
Very nice. Very nice. Oh, that was a man. I thought it meant like army. We need to build our army. That is not the case. Come down here. We'll kind of split our forces in half. You discovered an agent. Of course you did. Uh, which one has the general? We could automatically transport there. I don't think I will because there are rebels there. I could automatically transport to Constantinopolis. Or I could just get in here. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll lose a little bit of that defense right there. Uh, let's publicly transport. Oh, because they have forts. Oh. Well, no. I'll come out here. And then I'll transport and drop off there. That's fine. I think we could probably take on these rebels. They actually, I think, have more cab than they're allowed. So that might help us. Slaughter the rebels. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, that was a good roll for them. Okay, good. Okay, so, if someone, expiring costs us belly, I don't care about that. Someone enlighten me on terrain. Now, obviously, when sieges happen, but like the terrain here, uh, let's go show the province. So, Macedonia, we have farmland, supply limit, so nothing really negative happens there. Over here in Adairn, it is grasslands, nothing happy. Oh, okay, we lost temp prestige. But over here, in like Scutari, we have mountains. Dice roll for attackers is minus two. I see that now. Local development cost plus 50%. Okay. I see it. The push for mercantile reforms. We can't explore, can't afford to explore dead ends. Seeds of Macedonia is over. That was quick. I don't remember where we got this guy from. Maybe I didn't actually just have him in. Making quite a bit of money. Odds are I would really like to um, vassalize Macedonia if that's possible. Because again, I, I'm still torn between wanting to be an actual empire or just staying as a merchant republic. Like I, I'm really still torn don't know what to do about it. Can I move this army over here now? Nope, I have to take this fort. Okay. So yeah, if you guys just let me know, let me know what you think, the positives and negatives of everything. Um, we can... Yeah, that would actually be really good. Um, sorry, I'm, I'm distracted. Let's increase our trade value from zero. Oh, wow. But I'm going to do Ragusa. Ottomans declared war on them. Because I'm just going to... I want to build mo more stuff like that. The Ottomans. How big is their army, even? They got 33,000. So they got nine there. They got a 22 over here. Conversion successful. A new pope. He's loyal to Aragon. No big deal. At least I don't think it's that big of a deal, personally. We now have no manpower, but that's not a big deal either. Let's go ahead and kind of bump up the speed. Get this siege over with. Siege is over with. Ten prestige or gain a skill to artist in Venetia. We're going to gain one stability.
combine there. And you get into the Sea of Mamara. An agent in Bosnia. Or a Bosnian agent, I should say. We are fully recruited up. A peace offer from Byzantium. Let's see what happens. Byzantium will cede Thessaly, Macedonia, and Castoria. Byzantium will be forced to give Venice 10%. Byzantium will pay 160 ducats. Venice suffers 25 aggressive expansion. They gain 10 prestige. They will lose 19 power projection. So what they were saying... is they would see Thessaly, Castoria, and Macedonia, which fulfills my Costa's belly. But if I cleared the offer, it would cost 112% word score. I'm going to completely besiege them to death. Not to death, but you know what I mean. Holy Roman Empire has elected Franz I of Austria as the new emperor. Uh, let's go ahead and see how that siege is coming along. Renew the war taxes. That's fine. We're getting plus five. Mamelukes have been increased as much as possible. Um, Wallachia, Moldavia. See, I just don't know who to go after. You know what I mean? The Papal States are still alive. We could always improve relations with them because they are our allies. Who are our allies? Venice, our only ally is Austria. I thought Papal States were. Hmm. That's fine. Um, these guys, they're already at 200. We've improved with them as much as possible. I just don't know who else to kind of get in good with. I mean, I could always offer an alliance to these guys. I could also improve relations with England. I think that might not be a bad idea. Come on, men. Let's keep rolling. Agent. Come on, super fast forward time. Siege is over. Come on. One more one more month. Election. Uh, let's actually do a military candidate. One more month. One more month. There we go. Siege of Constantinople is over. We've wrecked, or we are wrecking. Let me wreck their other armies. There we go. 100% war score. Still can't do anything. That's fine. Uh, then we will have to take three spots. That takes 25. 173 from there. They will have to give us war reparations. Um... Nope, I don't care about that. They will be forced to remove us as a rival. That'll work. Very nice. And we accumulated money. Brilliant! Alright, now what can we do? Our manpowers need to recover. We could vassalize Ferraria. Or we need to conquer Mantua. Where is Mantua? Mantua. Oh, which is now owned by Milan. Which is a bit of a pickle because we can't go to war with them because they're allied with Austria and Ravensburg. So that's not going to be possible. We can do our manpower thing. And then we will recover over here. And... Yeah, I mean, we gained a good chunk of land. I like it. Let's go ahead and do that. We have some cores that we need to do, but... Hmm. We need to unlock Renaissance, which means we need admin, which means we're at five now. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to... I can never find this tab. It's the tab where I push a certain type. I 
government, maybe. New organization. Nice. Offer alliance from the knights. Nope, we discovered an agent from Norway. Here we go. Yeah, we need admin power like crazy. Sweet, plus seven. That'll work. Uh, we need to core some things. We're at minus 1.6. That will change once... Uh, we need 163 men in the next month that will change. We should be positive We have claims on provinces. We don't own That is very true. Uh, now these guys they have nine. We have nine. That's okay What are you guys doing? Oh, they're on a mission to protecting the trade note of Ragusa Sounds like a plan so we won't go after them this turn. We are completely... Uh, I just don't... No one really... Well, I won't say no one hates us. A lot of people hate us. But I don't think Milan would act on it. I don't even know where Milan's forces are. There's a, a big war going on over here. It's Fender against Scotland and the Scottish reco reconquest of Arshire. Okay, that's cool. Venice has too many diplomatic relations. That's fine. Are these guys actually, like, taking over? Oh, wow, they are besieging it. Oh, wow. France? They have 46,000 troops. Oh, they have artillery, too. Oh, good lord. Dang it. Who has artillery? France and the Papal States. Papal states, I should say. Yep. You got wrecked, Austria. You done got wrecked. England has started taking some land back, though. So that's really interesting. Uh, and I think we're just going to have to go down and reduce army maintenance. We don't have corruption. We have prestige of 71, which is really good. Republican tradition, power projection. How do we get power projection? Take their provinces, vassalize them, insult or humiliate them, support rebels in their lands, embargo their merchants. Uh, so we need to work on some buildings too. Oh, crap. Um, yeah, buildings. I'm just going to look at this. This is cool. I never knew about this. I mean, there's literally, there's just so many things that... Benil di Zusitnani, being a wise and respected Catholic, has maintained good relations with cardinals and other people in the church and outside the borders of Venice. They recently discovered that a man has just been promoted to cardinal, who is also a good friend of theirs, considering moving to our country to facilitate their mutual work on a theological text. If we aided this process, we would have a cardinal in the Curia who is not only loyal to Benildi Zusistiani, but also to Bertucci Toscani. Whatever we can do to help, we will. If we lose, we lose 100 admin power. Achaia will be the seat of a new cardinal. Our administration has other priorities than nepotism. We gain 100 admin power. Which will work. 18 in a year, we'll be able to get to rank 6. With that, um, how long until... Four years until we can get to that military power. Our truce with them has ended. Milan is the goal to claim Verona as their own. They have quite a few troops there. I may bring my... Army to here. Or my navy. Genoa is increasing... It's transferring trade power in Genoa. Interesting. Uh, we discovered an agent. Great advisors died. If we send merchants to collect from trade...
that do any good? They collect nothing. We'll recall from there. Oh, they are collecting something. Okay, cool. What is this? Our current trade power. We own 39% of the total power. We only own 1% there. 15% there. We still have a long ways to go, boys. Long ways to go. I'm not going to go to war with them anytime soon. We really do need to recover. Venice is the new rival. No shock there. Uh, but we need to get... We don't really have any rebellions, which is awesome. I love that. I love the autonomy thing. It makes complete sense. Cardinals across the border. We lose 11 ducats. We gain half corruption. Austria's opinion of Venice goes up down by 30%. Mm. Did that work? I think it did. Good lord, they have military access to all those people. Good lord, they have a lot of diplomatic agreements. We need to give an advisor. Yearly inflation, yearly prestige, or production efficiency. We're going to go with yearly prestige. We need to keep that positive. We've got how long? October 1st. So let's at least get to that, and then I'll call it in the episode once we get to level 6. That would be very good. What are the Ottomans at? They're at 677. Well, crap. And we... Oh, wow. We're at 576. So they have artillery now. That's the that's the meaning of that. And we can now increase our workshop. Nice. And then we'll get to Renaissance spot. We could pass that. Ooh, what is this? Hold on. Make an illegal offense punishable by burning a stake to either own or produce a translation of the Bible. Oh, no. National tax modifier. No. And in the next episode, we will get into buildings because it is something that we need to do. Um, I just need to figure out what needs to be done, and we'll get it all straightened out pretty much. Let's see, our cores, we can't do anything there just yet. But anyways, guys, that is the end of this episode. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Be on the lookout for the next episode of Europa Universalis 4, playing as Venice. Constructive criticism. Constructive feedback. That's all I ask. This is Havoc. And I'm out of here. Peace.